welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new episode of Learning Science with Miss Cass. And for today's video, I am going to share with you how physics were being used in our everyday life. What is physics by the way? Physics is the study of matter, energy, and the interactions between them. And it helps us to understand the laws and rules that govern the physical world. Not every student will grow up and study physics on different level, but every one of us uses basic physics concepts to navigate our everyday life. So, let me share to you one of our daily activities we did every afternoon here in Tiraville Subdivision. And because of that, we will find out together what are the science concepts or the physics behind this activity. So, I hope that you will enjoy learning physics today. Okay, so, before you will know what activity we have here in our place, so let me introduce to you first my friend, one of my neighbors, and she is also one of my companions every afternoon. And she will also help me to explain some of the basic physics we are going to learn for this episode. So, say hello to my friend, Miss April! Yes, yeah, hi everyone! It's nice to be part of this episode. I hope that you will enjoy learning science with us today, guys. But, of course, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you, Miss April. And we are here to share to our viewers one of the activities that we did every afternoon. And we will also share to them what are the basic physics behind this activity. Yes, of course, guys. I know that you will always enjoy this. And believe it or not, this is one of our routines that we did every afternoon so that we could maintain our body figure. <laughs> So this is a good example of an exercise. Yeah. This has started since after you secure. Right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> so I know that you will enjoy learning with us today. So come on, let's enjoy it together. Yes, come on, guys. So guys, this is the activity that we used to do every afternoon. So walking while pushing the car stroller. So I know, guys, that you know this thing. So this is a car stroller. A car stroller is primarily used to transport the baby from one place to another. It can only contain one baby at a time. So now the question is, what are the reasons behind this activity? Three things we create in the front, and it is already a physics. First concept is the Newton's first law of motion. So the first law states that a body is at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line. It will remain at rest or keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed. The force of the law's energy. So, second is Newton's second law of motion. It is the law of acceleration. It is applied when the car stroller was being pushed or pulled by a parent with a one year old baby having different rules. Actually, there is a formula used to calculate the acceleration. It is A equals to B over T, where acceleration is equal to velocity over time. The acceleration of an object depends directly upon the net force acting upon the object and inversely upon the mass of the object. As the force acting upon an object is increased, the acceleration of the object is increased. As the mass of an object is increased, the acceleration of the object is decreased. By the way, a force is a push or pull upon an object, resulting from the object's interaction with another object. Whenever there is an interaction between two objects, there is a force upon each of the objects. When the interaction ceases, the two objects no longer experience the force. Forces only exist as a result of an interaction. In the next concept is that all of action reaction which is the third law of newton's law of motion the person must push off from the ground with both of downward and backward push to the ground from their feet the opposite force a forward and upward is returned back to the person from the ground so the person walks forward. or even by the way with the gold down from the car stroller the baby's feet pushed against the stroller and the stroller pushes back on the baby and pushes him forward you might ask why or how does it apply the Newton's third law of motion. Fourth concept that can be applied to a car stroller is speed. Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as the rate of which an object covers distance. A parent that walks fast has a high speed and covers a relatively large distance in a short amount of time. If parent will not move or walk, it has a zero speed. The formula of speed is equivalent to distance over time. Happy with the last concept is that sound. So what is a sound? Sound is a pressure wave which is created by a vibrating object. So guys, those are the five concepts or the five physics behind our activity. Walking while pushing the car stroller. I hope that you are enjoying learning with us today about science. Science is everywhere. I hope that you will appreciate our first video for you to know some of the basic things. 
Eric. 